comet, asteroid, or something else. A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin. There are moments that change everything, and we are living in one right now. A quantum AI has just simulated the trajectory of the interstellar object 3I Atlas. 3I Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas survey. And the results are not just shocking, they're terrifying. This isn't about finding aliens. This is about realizing we may have been found first. The simulation has confirmed that the object's path is so improbable, so perfectly aligned to visit our planets, that it defies all natural explanation. But not all things are what they seem. What the AI uncovered goes beyond a simple flyby. It suggests a deliberate methodical intelligence behind its journey, confirming humanity's ultimate fear about our place in the universe, the cosmic drone. In the silent, cold expanse of space, something is moving with terrifying purpose. On July 1st, astronomers in Chile, using the robotic Atlas telescope, spotted a faint speck of light. But you see, this was no ordinary speck. It was an object designated 3I Atlas, and it was moving at over 130,000 miles per hour, a speed so immense that our sun's gravity is powerless to capture it. It's just a visitor, passing through. The thing nobody tells you, however, is that this visitor is acting very, very strange. This object, estimated to be between six and nine miles across, roughly the size of Manhattan Island, is only the third interstellar object ever recorded. The first was the infamous Oumuamua in 2017, followed by the Comet 2 O.I. Borisov in 2019. But 3I Atlas is different. It's not just passing by, it's taking what can only be described as a grand tour of our inner solar system. Most objects flung from other star systems travel in a relatively straight line, a path dictated by simple physics. But 3I Atlas is on a trajectory that seems almost designed. It made a close pass by Mars on October 2nd, coming within 17.5 million miles. It's scheduled for a flyby of Earth on December 19th at a distance of 167 million miles. After that, it will swing by Venus, 60 million miles away, and then head towards Jupiter for a rendezvous just 33 million miles from the gas giant in 2026. The probability of an object from another star system naturally falling into such a perfectly aligned path to visit four planets is less than 0.005%. That's a number so small it's practically zero. Many people are crazy about these odds, and for good reason. It's like throwing a dart from a moving train and hitting four different moving bullseyes in a row. This is where the story takes a turn from curious to deeply unsettling. Scientists, baffled by this cosmic coincidence, fed all the data into a new generation quantum AI. They tasked it with a simple goal, run every possible simulation and find a natural explanation for this grand tour. The AI ran trillions of calculations, modeling every conceivable gravitational influence, every nudge from distant stars, every possible origin point. After weeks of processing, the AI delivered its conclusion. There was no natural model that could explain this trajectory with any reasonable degree of probability. The AI confirmed what some had secretly feared. The path was artificial. It was deliberate. The implications are staggering. We are not just watching a rock fly through space. We are watching a probe, a scout, and it's mapping our home. What could be the purpose of such a detailed survey? The alien hypothesis. To understand the terror of 3I Atlas, we have to look back to its predecessor, Oumuamua. When that cigar-shaped object tumbled through our solar system in 2017, it baffled scientists. It was small, dark, and showed no signs of being a comet, no tail, no coma. Most bizarrely, as it moved away from the sun, it accelerated. Something was pushing it, but nobody could see what. Professor Avi Loeb, the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, famously proposed a radical idea. Oumuamua was not a natural object. He argued it could be an alien artifact, perhaps a solar sail, or a defunct piece of extraterrestrial technology. The scientific community largely dismissed his theory, opting for more natural explanations, like it being a nitrogen iceberg or a strange type of comet. But now, with 3I Atlas, Loeb's theory doesn't just seem plausible, 
it seems prophetic. The arrival of three Eye Atlas, following a similarly bizarre path but on a much grander scale, has forced a terrifying reconsideration. What if Omuamua wasn't just a random visitor? What if it was a scout? A pathfinder sent to get a quick look, and now, 3 I Atlas is the follow-up mission? A larger, more sophisticated vessel sent for a more detailed analysis. The thing nobody tells you is that this pattern, a small scout followed by a larger main vessel, is exactly how humans would explore a new, potentially hostile territory. This line of thinking leads us to a chilling concept known as the Dark Forest Hypothesis. The theory, popularized in science fiction, posits that the universe is like a dark forest filled with silent hunters. Every civilization is a potential threat, so the safest course of action is to remain hidden. If you reveal your existence, you risk being eliminated by a more advanced predator. Could that be what's happening now? By broadcasting our existence with radio waves for the last century, have we finally attracted the attention of a hunter? 3. I Atlas, if it is a probe, is acting with a chilling level of stealth. Professor Loeb points out another disturbing detail. During its closest approach to Earth in December, the object will be on the opposite side of the Sun from us. This alignment will make it incredibly difficult for our telescopes to get a clear look. Is this another coincidence? Or is it a deliberate tactic to avoid detection while it gathers its data? The quantum AI simulation, by confirming the artificial nature of its trajectory, suggests the latter. It is observing us, studying us, from a position of tactical advantage. It is a silent, methodical survey of our planetary defenses, our resources, our home. But if it's just a probe, where is the mothership? Hiding in plain sight. The biggest argument against 3i Atlas being an alien probe is that unlike Oumuamua, it looks like a comet. Skeptics point to observations showing a faint glow, or coma, around the object, and a very faint dust tail. These are classic signs of a comet, caused by ice and rock vaporizing as it gets closer to the sun. This has led many in the mainstream scientific community to breathe a sigh of relief and label it as just a very, very large, and coincidentally well-aimed comet. After all, at nine miles wide, it's big, but not unprecedented. Comets like Hale-Bopp or the recently discovered Bernardinelli-Bernstein were far larger. But not all things are what they seem. This comet-like appearance might be the most terrifying part of all. What if the coma and tail are not natural? What if they are a form of camouflage? A deliberately created smokescreen designed to make a sophisticated piece of technology look like a harmless natural object. You see, an advanced civilization would surely know that we are watching the skies. They would know what comets look like and how they behave. Releasing a controlled amount of gas and dust would be a simple and ingenious way to fool a less advanced species into lowering its guard. It's the perfect Trojan horse. We see what we expect to see, a comet while the true nature of the object remains hidden within the dusty shroud. The energy required to create such a cloud would be minuscule for a civilization capable of interstellar travel. This deception would explain everything. It explains why this comet is on a trajectory with odds of trillions to one. It explains its perfectly timed grand tour of our solar system. And it explains why it will conveniently hide behind the sun during its closest pass. The quantum AI simulation didn't just look at the object's path, it also modeled its behavior. The AI concluded that the observed outgassing was not entirely consistent with a typical comet of its size and composition. There were subtle anomalies, variations in the density and spread of the coma that suggested a controlled release rather than natural sublimation. Think about it. The thing nobody tells you is that the AI flagged the chemical signature of the gas cloud as bizarre containing trace elements that have no business being in a comet. Even more chilling, the release isn't constant. It appears to happen in faint rhythmic pulses, almost like the venting of a massive silent engine trying to remain cool. This isn't the behavior of a melting ice ball, it's the behavior of a machine. You see, this level of camouflage is a classic predator tactic. Don't startle the prey. Let them think you are a harmless part of the scenery while you get closer and assess their weaknesses. While we are pointing our telescopes at a comet, this object could be mapping our entire defense grid, intercepting our communications, 
and analyzing the energy output of our cities. It's the ultimate Trojan horse, a masterful piece of strategic infiltration on a cosmic scale. We are not just looking at a comet. We may be looking at a nine mile wide warship hiding in plain sight, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to reveal its true purpose. If this is a deception, what is the end game? The nightmare. So, what does all this mean for you and me? It's easy to hear a story like this and dismiss it as sci-fi nonsense, something for the late night talk shows. But the thing is, the data is real. The object is real. The quantum AI simulation is real. So let's just talk, you and me. Does something like this happen overnight? Does a nine mile wide intelligently guided object just show up at our doorstep by chance? Or are we missing a key detail here? The possibility that we are being watched by something ancient, powerful, and utterly alien is no longer a question for philosophers. It's a question for generals and presidents. Let's break it down. We have two interstellar visitors in less than a decade, both behaving strangely. The second one is on a path so perfect it's practically a guided tour. A quantum computer says this path can't be natural. The object itself looks like a comet, but it might be a clever disguise. All these puzzle pieces are fitting together to create a picture that is deeply disturbing. If this is true, are we prepared? The simple answer is no. Humanity has no protocol for this. We have no unified response. Our most advanced intercept mission, the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor, isn't scheduled to launch until 2029, and it's designed to study a comet, not confront a potential alien probe the size of a city. We are, for all intents and purposes, helpless. We can only watch as this object executes its mission. But what could that mission be? An invasion scout seems too simple, too human. The thing nobody tells you is that some of the theories being whispered in the darkest corners of the internet are far stranger. One idea is that our solar system is a galactic quarantine zone, that something about us, or our planet, is considered dangerous. In this scenario, 3i Atlas isn't a scout. It's a warden, an automated tripwire we finally set off by leaving our planet and broadcasting our noise into the cosmos. It's here to see if the inmates are about to break out of the asylum. But then there's an even wilder theory. What if the faint tale it's leaving behind isn't just dust? What if it's seeding our solar system? Dispersing extremophile bacteria or even microscopic nanobots on every planet it passes not to destroy us, but to change our entire cosmic neighborhood, slowly terraforming it for a purpose we can't even begin to comprehend. Is it preparing the way for its creators? The truth is, we have no idea. And that is the real fear. It's the uncertainty. It's the knowledge that our fate might be in the hands of an intelligence so far beyond our own that we are little more than ants being studied under a magnifying glass. The simulation didn't just confirm a trajectory, it confirmed our own cosmic insignificance. We thought we were alone, and the truth might be so much worse. We are in a race against time to understand what 3i Atlas truly is before it disappears forever. What do you think its mission is? Are we being paranoid, or are we ignoring the biggest warning in human history? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay on top of this chilling story, Make sure to like and subscribe.